guys so i wanted to record this video on uh, the dash cam so this this is a recording where dash cam and i have uh, tilted the dash cam camera a little down so that it can capture the the hard display as well now i'm not sure how clear it is coming up on the hard display um it's it's coming on the dash cam the display is coming on the dash cam um but if um, I just wanted to get a review completed. I've been I installed this installed this HUD uh, yesterday night, and uh, it's been doing its job since then. The display to me, I'm sitting in a driver seat. The display to me is crystal clear. I can see that as clearly as I can see other uh, console things on my dashboard. The speed was a little off initially, so I had to reconfigure it. I reconfigured in the night by going into settings. Um, the left is the top left in white that shows 4.2 km number of km is the kilometers i've driven uh, since it's, it turned on and the right hand side is my uh, real time fuel efficiency i still do not trust that the real time fuel efficiency is is uh, coming uh, good or coming really you no know, relevant and accurate but nonetheless it's still a number um speedometer is is good um, so there isn't any complaints with this speedometer um i did have a scare incident yesterday wherein my car uh, shut down completely there was apparently no fuel and my fuel sensor was showing that i still Most have fuel detected for the vehicle ahead i okay there you go so this it, it also detects there's a vehicle ahead and uh, warns me which is totally useless feature i have set that feature to work only after it, the car is like More than 80 kilometers per hour, but it works even in the city when I am at uh, 20, 30, 40 kilometers per hour. This is going to be a small video. I just wanted to uh, do a quick demo of how this HUD looks like or HUD shows up. Uh, like I had mentioned, the clarity to me is top notch, and um, so far the experience has been great. So that's about it. Thank you. Most detected for the vehicle ahead. Most detected.